You're standing here telling me I'm doing too much, but honestly, I don't think you've had a man in your life who did enough. You damn sure ain't had a man who went above and beyond for you, and you damn sure don't know how to receive it. That's why Zach didn't know how to deal with you. I will not tolerate is your sour-ass outlook on life driving a wedge between me and my child. Now, I am going to be here to take care of my baby and his or her sibling. I am going to be here to support you through this process, whether you like it or not. Let me tell you something, folks. Let me tell you something, folks. This was the scene that people have wanted for years for someone to tell Karen all the way off to chew her up, spit her out, and have her marinate on what was said. Goodness gracious, Aaron found his backbone. He found his balls. Aaron is once again the man because we haven't seen Aaron go in on Karen like this in season one outside of her apartment. This was beautiful. And as you could tell, the first bit of this uh, video, I couldn't play the whole clip. I think it was about 90 seconds or so of Aaron just going in on Karen. So what I'm going to do is, you know, I, I showed you a bit. I put a little dialogue in here of me talking to split it up. Now, listen to the full audio of this clip, and I'm going to come right back, and we need to break it down. Doing too much. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> you know what? Call it out, No. What? What do you mean, no? You heard me. And not just no, but hell no. Excuse my language. It's fine. Karen, I am so tired of you coming at me with a foul attitude when all I want to do is help. You're standing here telling me I'm doing too much, but honestly, I don't think you've had a man in your life who did enough. You damn sure ain't had a man who went above and beyond for you, and you damn sure don't know how to receive it. That's why Zach didn't know how to deal with you. Excuse you? I am not done. Now, I hate to say this in front of your mom, but I'm going to anyway. Karen, sometimes you act so miserable. And you love to blame everybody else for your misery. You blame Zach, you blame your friends, you blame Fatima, and you blame me of all people. But you know, maybe, just maybe, the person responsible is the one staring back at you in the mirror. Now, Karen, I love you. Still to this day, even when you didn't want me, and even when you were so content on holding on to your memories of Zach. And that's fine. All right, I had to accept that. But what I will not tolerate is your sour-ass outlook on life driving a wedge between me and my child. Now, I am going to be here to take care of my baby and his or her sibling. I am going to be here to support you through this process, whether you like it or not. So get used to it. Get on board. Get with the program. This is happening. Keep the stroller. Let, let me address something real quick. A lot of people are like, Miss Lisa, why, why didn't she say anything? Or Miss Lisa, she was coddling Karen at the end of the uh, scene. I think Miss Lisa did exactly what needed to be done. Little to nothing. She spoke volumes through just her body language. I mean, she looked surprised and impressed that Aaron went above and beyond getting a you know fancy new stroller for the twins. Notice not his kids, but are, you know... Not the twins, or sorry, not his kid, but the twins. Then on top of that, when Aaron started to go in on Karen, and he's like, sorry for my language. Oh, no, 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 go ahead. <laughs> and she just sat, she just stood there and let Karen have it. It just seemed to me like it's about time somebody says something. And then by the end of it, when Aaron left, keep the stroller. She was like, mama, did you just hear? How, did you see how he talked to me? And then she went on to say, look, if if you have half the sense I raised you with, you would consider or take into consideration everything he just said. And then Karen was flabbergasted, dumbfounded, speechless, which is rare for a character like her. And then she said, well, it was kind of harsh. And it's like, well, I think that's just because your blood sugar is low. Let's go get something to eat. And it just make, it, it, it baffles me because all the times that Karen has gone off, said some foul things to other characters and then just walks off after she speaks her piece calling people out of their name and whatnot yelling at them and notice how karen did not call her out of her name one time not once 
He might have threw around a couple of hells and dams, but that was it. And to think she felt like that was harsh. <laughs> She's the victim. Nah, nah, nah. Miss Le Miss Lisa did her thing. She let Aaron finally be a man and tell Karen what's what. Basically, this was a beautiful scene. I think a couple people had, uh, you know, I had one thing I wanted to add and then other fans said something that was great. My thing was when he listed off, it's like, you know what, Karen, I love you still to this day. And even when you said you didn't want me and, you know, you still have feelings for Zach. Hey, it, it is what it is. I had to, you know, accept that. But what you're not going to do, what I'm not going to accept is your foul, bitter attitude and, you know, demeanor towards life coming in between me and the love that I'll have for my child and his or her sibling taking care of them. If he would have said like, you know what, you know, I love you even after you said you didn't want to have my child. I loved you when you said that there's no way the child is mine based on the DNA. And then we have the twins. And then you're saying that one of the kids is mine. I really wish you would have said that because Miss Lisa's ears probably would have perked up like, wait, when did this happen? But other fans said something that was even more, more epic. When, when Aaron walked out and said, keep the stroller, he should have said, keep the damn stroller. That would have given Gone with the Wind vibes of, Red, wh where should I go? What should I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> that would have been perfect. But I think that's what made the scene great. Like I said before in my review and on the live stream and whatnot, this was a pretty dry ass episode. You know, some people were saying it was great because you had like Pam uh, sticking it to Karen and Andy telling off Hayden and, you know, a few other things, which were great scenes in themselves, but... For me, you know, you can have scenes like that, but even though a moment where one character tells off another could be great, if that doesn't carry over into other episodes, it doesn't matter. Like, for example, let's say, um, you know, Andy goes off on Gary or whatnot. So I'm tired of this shit you put me through. But if she's right back to being with him or thinking about him in a lovey-dovey fashion within the next one to two episodes... I don't care what happened during that epic scene because it obviously didn't mean anything. But in this case, Aaron, I truly hope he does not come back to Karen and apologize for what he said or how he said it. He said not only what needed to be said, but he said it in such a way that it was the only way it could be drilled through someone as hard headed as Karen. You know what? You're the problem, Karen. You're the problem. You blame Zach. You blame your friends, you blame Fatima, and you and you blame me because there wasn't a man in your past who was ever man enough. You say I'm doing too much, but I bet there was a man, there wasn't a man in your past or from your past that ever did enough. Not even Zach. Excuse me? No, no, I'm not done. I was like, all I, I kind of changed position and chair, like, oh snap, it's about to get real now. It's about to get real. But no, this reality check, like Miss Lisa said, I hope that she truly does sit back and think about what was said because it, this was beautiful. And then in the promo for next week, it, it, we might see Aaron and uh, Zach kind of bond at the gym because I think Aaron says something to the effect of you and I may have more in common than you think, brother. So I guess maybe Aaron possibly talks to Zach about what he said during his um meeting, if you will, with Karen. But also, side note, why did he bring the stroller and leave it at the salon instead of the apartment? Just saying. It's not like she can use the stroller yet. <laughs> and then, you know, I'm just saying. But um, th this is crazy. I mean, I'll do a separate video on this. But my biggest question is, what, what does Karen want from these men? I think a lot of fans had it right when they said, if Zach was doing what Aaron's doing, Karen wouldn't have a problem with it. Because you got Zach, who's kind of on the fence about, I'm doing for my child, and that's it. And then Karen's all, well, I don't have any half babies in my stomach, Zach. And then Fatima's all about the whole package deal thing, which is weird. So you have Zach, who, you know what? No, 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 no. You're not doing enough because it's about both children, not just the one that's yours. Then on the flip side, you got Aaron who's doing too much. Because what did she say to her mom? This isn't the stroll I want. This isn't the color. Nut. See, Aaron just recently found out he's the father of one of my babies. And he's doing too much. And it's like, so one, one of the baby daddies isn't doing enough because apparently you want it where he's doing for both kids, not just the one that's his. 
Then on the flip side, the other baby daddy, Aaron, is doing too much because he's trying to do things that pertain to both kids instead of the one that's just his. This woman is just ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. No matter how much you try to uh, paint it in the picture of Karen being the victim. And also, I still say that, Aaron, it would be in your best interest to get some sort of DNA test because of the fact that if I were you, I wouldn't take Karen's words at face value. Sure, the doctors confirmed that Zach is the dad of one, but... If I were Aaron, I'd be like, look, you know what? I'm excited about the other kid possibly being mine. Possibly. Well, Karen, remember from my perspective, uh, you told me that I, I wasn't the father. You didn't want to have a child by me because you didn't know me well enough. So then we're basically space between us for three months after you told me you didn't want to have anything else to do with me. So then all of a sudden you call me up and now you say I'm the father of your other child. I'd Sure, certainly like to get a check on this but we do see him zach and karen in the hospital later this season maybe that's when a dna thing happens or maybe it won't occur until after the twins are born because they are definitely going to need to do some sort of test to determine whose baby's who that's all i'm saying but with that being said yeah aaron this was great um hopefully karen takes to consideration what was said to her maybe this will help her change for the better but only time will tell but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Even, even if you don't like season seven uh, due to what the new writers have done to the show, I think we can all agree. Not only was Aaron telling Karen off easily the best scene of the season so far, it can be ranked up there with one of the best scenes in the entirety of Sister from season one to season seven. Let me know if you agree in the comments. And as much as people want, you know, either Fatima or Danny or somebody to pop Karen in the face and whatnot. I'd rather see her face drop to the floor like it did in this scene because someone told her off as opposed to someone just popping her in the mouth. No, this, this was perfect. Okay. Like, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll catch you in the next video.